Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Jessica and I hope you are going to stay tuned and watch how I created this look with all products that are just eyeshadows, lipsticks, foundations, stuff that you already have in your makeup bag along with one $5 item. That is it. I hope you guys enjoy and be sure to subscribe. Thing, I'm going to take this MAC brush and use Burnt Orange. I've had this brush forever so I'll try to look and find it but it is just a fluffy brush. And we're just going to go in the crease. And again, don't worry about precision because we are going to make this messy. And just go all the way around the eye. So that way, it is so simple. We're going just big old circles. Color is going to be, I've been obsessed with ColourPop. This color is called Elixir. And it is absolutely stunning. And I'm just going to be using a Bedellium brush. And I believe this one is 781. And with this color, it's a deeper orange, so we're gonna start building in that crease. And the best thing about the ColourPop um, eyeshadows, they're $5. Like, they are so cheap and so good. Like, you honestly cannot get drugstore makeup for $5. Like, you can't. So, these are really great. And honestly, like, drugstore products are good too, but these are even better. So I'll kind of include them on my drugstore purchases whenever I do one because they're as cheap as drugstores. Um, so anyway, I just brought that elixir color underneath my eye as well. So again, all we're doing is layering. That color go. Um, another color pop color and it is called Drift. And this color is so ridiculously beautiful that even if you do not need it, like look at how pretty that is. Look at that shimmering. Is it gorgeous um, and I'm using Bedellium brush 780 so even if you don't you know use this color all the time it is a great color to add to fall for like a night out on the town a night with the girls um, it's such a beautiful color and you're only gonna be using this color in the crease because we're gonna put some glitter on there um, so now all I did I went back with like that big fluffy brush and I'm gonna be using love letter by Anastasia from the Modern Renaissance palette and we're gonna be going a little bit more underneath and don't worry because we are gonna clean this up and we'll go back and add some more bright colors so don't worry about that the next thing we are gonna do and I love this stuff it is called lit and this right here is the glue where's the front of it so this right here comes in this little tiny bottle this is the adhesive so this is how we're gonna get the glare. Put the adhesive all over your eye. Put it up underneath your eye. And just FYI, if you guys have contacts, do this before you put in your contacts. Even if you're not able to see, it's not supposed to be perfect, so don't even worry about it. Next, you're gonna take this beautiful red glitter, I'll show you guys in a second and just start dabbing it on your eye. So just keep building. Um, the best part about like the lip glitters, I actually found them at Sephora and I was like, oh my God, these are so pretty. What are these? And they come in a bunch of different things. So I went on their website because people's websites always have a little bit um, more and they had some of the most amazing colors and they're all milled in a different way. So like, I think this is like number four, so it's a little bit of a thicker glitter, but they also have um, number two, number one, which is just like very, very, very fine, fine, fine glitter. So just FYI. So we'll put, we'll leave that for now. And just so you guys know, this right here, that's what it looks like. It is so pretty. You have no idea. It's gorgeous. Um, so before we go any further with the glitter, we're gonna take black eyeliner and I'm using the Rock and Coal by Charlotte Tilbury. And we're gonna line the insides of our eye. So this coal eyeliner, finished with that eyeliner, we are gonna be using today the Red Cherry Lashes. And this is Wispy. I love Wispy. I use these, the Dimmies. 
Um, these are like my cheaper lashes. I think y'all know that I love flutter lashes. Flutter lashes are everything. Like they are so pretty. You get multiple uses out of them to where it's like these, I get like one use and that's it. Just one. Um, and they're like $5 and the flutter lashes are 25 and you get like 25 uses out of them. Um, so I just put like a very thin thing and I used um, duo dark, so like the duo gray. And we're just gonna attach this. And because, like normally I cut them, but because I wanted to kind of extend my eye out a little bit more and make him a little bit more um, almond and stuff like that, I decided just to go a little bit bigger with the eyelashes. And I'm just using the Neutrogena makeup remover. It is just the easiest little wipe. So if you guys are ever exhausted, maybe on Halloween night, you're too tired to take off all this makeup, carry those wipes in your in your purse. Trust me, you don't wanna sleep with makeup. Today, ah, today I'm gonna to be using a Frankie Rose black eyeliner. I love this eyeliner. I do like to put a little bit on the back of my hand just to warm it up. That's just like a personal preference. Um, if you don't, you can use just like a pen eyeliner. The pen eyeliner, that's my favorite, is Stila um, Stay All Day. It is absolutely amazing. I love that eyeliner. Okay, so we're just gonna draw a little bit of a wing. Um, now I'm just gonna take an angled brush with um, Ebony, or sorry, uh, Noir by Anastasia. It's either Noir or Ebony. I switch between uh, Stila and them a lot, so whichever one I have available, that's which one I use. And I'm just gonna do under the lower lash line just to connect everything. Now we're gonna dust off our brush, and I just like to dust it on my arm. My arm kind of looks a little bit crazy, but we're gonna take Love Letter, which is that really pretty hot pink color and we're just gonna smudge this out underneath. Add some more glitter. Now, we're just gonna top it off with mascara. And normally, if you're using mink lashes, you do not need to put mascara on. Now, I'm gonna be using the Tarte. This is the, is it the Rainforest? <laughs> the Rainforest of the Sea Foundation. And I am in um, light medium. And then just start dabbing. And as you can tell, I already did like one side of my face that way to speed things up. So hopefully this isn't the longest tutorial of your entire life. And then always bring it down underneath your neck. So now I'm gonna be using Amazing Cosmetics concealer and today I'm actually using golden ivory because I want it to be a little bit lighter normally I am light golden and then once you get that we are gonna set with my favorite powder um, I don't really like a lot of powder so that's why we're setting with this one and it's it's the NARS NARS translucent I love this stuff I mean this is pathetic um, I ordered more so I'm just waiting for it to get here, y'all. Right there, very light setting. So I have to do. Just dropped five things. <laughs> um, now for bronzer, we're gonna layer. We're first gonna go with an actual bronzer to make us a little bit more tan. And this one is ColourPop Paradise Cove. And then we're gonna go back with a little bit of like the love letter pink, but we're gonna take this one and just start to contour and give a little bit of color. Now, ooh la la, let's get fun. Um, we're just gonna take a little bit of the um, love letter again, and we're just gonna start to smoke out the under eye and let the glitter fall. So after you get that, so sorry, we're gonna keep the same brush, go in with love letter and a tad of Venetian red and we're actually going to contour. Just a little bit. So whenever you get that on, go back with your fluffy brush that you were doing the bronzer with. And then just buff in. Now, 
we are going to do lips. So for lips, it is so easy because you're just going to um, take the lip gloss, put it on, and just rub it because you want it like very smudged because she's been eating on stuff or that's what I want her to be looking like. Um, and I'm using Milkshake by Anastasia. And I've already put on the dot, so you're just going to go dab it on just like that. Then take your finger, buff it in on the outside of your lips. Now I'm gonna use um, ColourPop in, oh my eyes, my eyes, <laughs> I'm skimpy. And I'm gonna outline my lip. So now we're gonna take a Larry, a Lari. Jesus, I can't read this silver writing. That's the only bad thing about ColourPop. Y'all need to get your writing down because I can't read it. Um, <laughs> you're going to take this to do a little bit of the fake blood. This is Rouge Artist Intense Number 48 by Makeup Forever. And I am just going to get a little bit of that and go over this. And finger pat it and smudge. And then you want to do it on the inside because her lips definitely got a little bit dirty on the inside. Okay. So it looks very smudged. Almost like the first time you ever wear a red lipstick and you get a boy to kiss you. Y'all know what I mean. Anyway, so after that, let's just add a little bit of like a fun. Um, a fun twist. This is from Azo, so it's just like a little lip ring. Let's do a little bit of the Ben Nye Aqua Paint, and then just to match this side, just one, two, three dots. Okay, and this was the final look. I hope you guys like it. You can leave or take out the lip jewelry um, or the nose ring. I think it's kind of fun. It's Halloween. Why not? Screw it. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys like it.